you see this coming, you're about to give at the office. Because it's bleeding time. Yes, that's right. There's more things with blood in the title than... Uh, oh boy, I can't think of anything. All right. You know what? What do you people want from me? That was the best I could do at short notice. Okay? So, you know, I just give up. I give up. And, you know, let's just, let's just cut to the video. Okay, so what we got for you is a bunch of blood letters. Now, these guys are unusual in that they've been highlighted with uh, not only black, but a sort of rose uh, fleshy color, which uh, I think really gives them an unusual uh, tone. It definitely looks demonic, no problem with that. Now, here's where that same sort of uh, color scheme has been done to really good effect. It looks it looks kind of like skin or muscle, but it has this uh, very warm, uh, demonic tone to it. Now, here we have some of my favorite models from the new demons that have come out. These are the Flesh Hounds, and all I have to say is finally. Finally, they look like hideous, flesh-eating demons from the Darkest Pit. Now, here we have a couple of uh, blood letters. Excuse me. Um, oh, boy. Uh, Heralds of Cahorn, and uh, I, in fact, I think you saw something like this before. If you take the uh, Bloodletter Champion head and uh, put it on a Juggernaut, it makes a great Herald. Uh, we've got all these chains here, chains with a horn on it, again with the theme of the uh, of the Heralds. And uh, on this one, we took a 40k Greater Demon Sword and gave it to him, so he's got... <clears throat> Excuse me, my goodness. Uh, he's got a huge sword, and of course a banner, you know, there's nothing more heraldic than uh, than a banner. And uh, you've got some pretty extreme highlights on here. It goes from a, a very dark red to that uh, sort of uh, fleshy, tannish, uh, burnt color, uh, which I think is uh, really a nice effect. Uh, other than that, not much to say here. This is uh, what a uh, Cahorn demon army looks like for 40k. And uh, from what I heard, it's pretty formidable. And I, I can always tell what's good in a game because people start commissioning that. And, uh, oh yeah, the Skull Taker. This guy will make you cry right there. He's, uh, he's uh, pretty beefy. Uh, definitely a threat on the tabletop. All right, well, away we go. Hope you enjoyed.